G'day and welcome to Mr. Code's STEAM podcast, where we bring to you the latest in STEAM and education. It is February 2025 and Unitree has unveiled an impressive troupe of dancing robots to celebrate the Chinese New Year, but more on that later. First up is the news that all LEGO Robotics fans are eager to hear. LEGO Education has announced its next STEM education product, simply named LEGO Education Science. Because there's going to be too much science for one box, this new product will actually come in three different versions to cater for years K-2, years 3-5 and years 6-8. Judging from the promotional materials released by LEGO Education, the science kits will have new designs for the boxes, new motors and controllers. However, there is only one sensor to be found, which probably means this set will exist alongside rather than replace the robotics focused spike sets. Other details from the kits include a stated 120 lessons, physical instruction booklets, and also new connection cards which are unique to this set. What do you guys think about LEGO Education Science? Are you excited about bringing another LEGO Education product into your classroom? Or are you going to be happy with BrickQ Motion and Spike? Make sure you comment your thoughts below. First Robotics has announced the next game, Reefscape, which is a continuation of the first dive season theme. Reefscape is characterized by two contrasting game elements, a beach ball sized sphere representing algae and a smaller pipe that represents coral. Robots must harvest and deliver algae spheres into fixed locations around the field and attach coral pipes onto a coral tree installation to score points. Some basketball skills are required in the drive team as well as teams must manually throw harvested algae elements onto the barge suspended over the field. And finally, the end game is a hanging challenge on several swinging cage elements descending from the barge. If you find these videos interesting or helpful, then you can support me by liking and subscribing to the channel. It is your support that lets me keep making more STEM education videos, so I thank you in advance. For weekly live coding sessions and to watch over 400 hours worth of coding lesson replays, be sure to become a channel member by clicking on the join button below. To Vex now, and we may be seeing the end of 1000 plus points in Rapid Relay skills runs, with a rules update that specifies that balls must be placed stationary on the field during rapid loading. No word yet, however, on changes coming to robots snatching balls from the loading station before they touch the floor. Vex Robotics has also released its first game design committee video in a new segment called Drive Forward News that gives students and coaches all around the world some insight into how Vex games are designed and evolving. The biggest message I gathered from the first interview is that there is an actual email address you can write to to connect with the game designer in case you didn't want to go through the normal Q&A process. In non-student robotics news, a startup called High Flyer has launched a new AI product called DeepSeek to critical acclaim. DeepSeek is a large language and reasoning model designed to compete in the same space as ChatGPT made by OpenAI, but it purportedly only costs 6 million US dollars to develop, which is about 1% of what it costs to make ChatGPT. Experts attribute DeepSeek's success to Highfly's capacity for algorithmic efficiency, meaning they worked around the shortage of high-performance chips by writing better code. Finally, the annual Spring Festival in China, which celebrates the Lunar New Year, has showcased Unitree's bipedal humanoid robot performing complex dance moves in time with music. This dance routine, which combines both humans and robots in a synchronized performance, stunned audiences around the world in its high-tech interpretation of traditional Chinese folk dancing. I cannot wait for Tesla's Optimus or Boston Dynamics Atlas robots to up their ante in the next viral robotics demonstration. That's it from me today. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what you'd like me to cover, feel free to send me a message or comment below. Until next time, bye bye.